Remember, this was the buck we took yesterday in the field, which was ear tagged with the number 65. And we know because he was ear tagged that he is four years old. And now it's quite interesting to have a look at his lower jaw. If you look at his right hand side, it looks like the M1 looks pretty much exactly like I would expect a four year old to look. It's still slightly pointy, but there's a good wear on it. Now on his other side, the M1 is actually worn down more. You can see there's almost no structure left inside and it's much more flat. So on this side, I would, if I didn't know how old he was, I would guess that he's probably five. This individual buck obviously had a slight, slightly strange, um, bottom jaw structure or upper jaw structure and the wear isn't equal on both sides. That happens quite often. So you're always left guessing how old the buck really is. If you look at his coronets, they're quite nicely um, tilting down on either side, which is a good sign for age. And also his pivots below are relatively low down and wide. In general, he's a selective buck. The trophy size is small and his body wasn't very big either. But I find it so interesting to have these tags because now we really know how old the buck is and it just shows you how, um, how far off you can be with judging these uh, bottom jaws when you open a buck that isn't uh, ear tagged. We know a relatively, for, for standards, for our standards here, relatively high buck. He's thin in the tops. He's missing a few times, I think, back time. Uh, he's got good coronets, but there's two very good young bucks that live in this area. So we'd like to take him out. He lives in this valley below us, close to a big rape field. So we're gonna just drop in and see if we can localize him somewhere.
He was bedded down, maybe 50 yards left to the left of us. That was the buck. The first one that came out was the young one. One of the young ones that we want to free this territory for. And this was the old one that we were looking for. It's a relatively long shot. I measured 250 and there was quite a bit of side wind and he moved just in the shot. Very nice. Let's go and have a look. Exactly what we thought. Good coronets, but very thin tops and missing just nearly missing a back tine. Perfect management buck and for to have these, I mean, he's, he's a good management buck. Um, and to have this area, this territory freed for the younger ones makes a lot of sense. He has very nice coronets, wide head. You can see that these, the heads of these German bucks are much smaller than for example the Romanians or the Swedish or the, the Spanish. They're just proportionally smaller compared to their body as well and at the same time of course the trophies are smaller as well. However because they have smaller heads a decent trophy um, looks just as good as it does on a Spanish buck. It's just yeah, a matter of size of head compared to the trophy. Now it's very difficult to find a last bite for him because there's really nothing around. Ooh. Here you can see what a really old buck looks like. He is six or older. I'm just going to open his cheek as well so you can have a look. So here you can see, this is the M1. Can you see that? This one, the one that is most worn down and he's lost all structure to it. So this buck in my eyes is the mi absolute minimum is five, but he could also be six. You can see he's, he's more or less fully worn down. There's no more um, pointy bits in any part of his bottom jaw and especially this one, the M1, Molar 1, is completely worn down. That's a really old bug. <laughs> <laughs>